a Ricoh Theta V, a Jetson Nano, object detection with AI, and canny edge detection. Linux for Tegra 32.4.4. Jetson Nano powered by Barrel Connector. Ricoh Theta V connected with USB cable, micro USB, and getting power from the Jetson Nano. To allow spacing for the USB cable, the Ricoh Theta has an extension. The Ricoh Theta V must be in live streaming mode with the word live blinking on the front of the camera. This test was done on August 30th, 2021 using Ricoh Theta V firmware 3.70.1. I'm verifying the firmware version with the USB API. There is a Linux package libptp which you can install on the Jetson Nano and PTP Cam will allow you to access most of the APIs from the Rico Theta. In this case, I'm just selecting info to get the firmware version of the camera. I'm next going to run GST Loopback, which is a symbolic link to GST Viewer. Compilation and configuration of libuvc Theta and video for Linux 2 Loopback are covered in separate videos. This video focuses on testing the firmware 3.70.1 with the Jetson Nano and Linux for Tegra. As I have two cameras attached to the Jetson Nano, uh, there's only one 360 camera, but the other one is a Raspberry Pi camera for testing. The Ricoh Theta V is going to be on Dev Video 1, not Dev Video 0. So the first test is just to use GStreamer or GST-Launch-1.0 to put the output to the screen. This test to make sure that the V4L2 loopback is working properly. Uh, initially, we're going to test it at 4K. The Jetson Nano is going to have some problems with 4K and AI object detection, so we'll eventually cut it down to 2K. But right now, it's at 4K, and it's right. In the next test, I'm going to test OpenCV. I've modified the source so I can cut down the resolution from 4K to 2K with the Jetson Nano. If you're running on Xavier or on x86, you most likely do not need to cut down the resolution to 2K. This test uses OpenCV with a Python wrapper to test canny edge detection. For this test, I did compile OpenCV from source. I'm using OpenCV 4.4.0 compiled with CUDA. The next test uses DetectNet for object detection. The dataset does not use fisheye images. So it's a little tricky to actually find the human and the monitor, but it should be enough to get you started. If you want to pursue this, I suggest using a database of fisheye images. We have extensive free documentation and tutorials from the community on how to set up the Ricoh Theta cameras to stream with Linux. After a one-time registration, you can access all the documents without going back to the site. On the left-hand side, there is a table of contents for the demos, uh, the examples. We have all the source code that was used in this demo and many other demos. And on the right-hand side, there's on the column, there's a table of contents. So go to the site, data360.guide slash special slash Linux streaming. Just drop in an email and you'll be off and running. If you have any problems, drop a note in the community and we'll try to help you. Thanks a lot. Have a great day.